guys, it's me again, and I'm here today for another movie review, and today I'm going to be reviewing the movie Peanuts. And before I actually um, get started on the review, um, I was, um, I want to exclude of how much I am of a Peanuts uh, fan, I, I at least presume. I mean, I loved watching the specials and the movies growing up. And this is, and I even read some of the um, comic strips when they were published um, in the new newspaper, and I I really enjoyed the Peanuts. Even though I'm pr not probably the biggest Peanuts fan out there, trust me, I've known a lot of people who are just huge, huge, more addictive fans than um, than I am. But I still really enjoyed the Peanuts growing up, and now we have a movie to celebrate that, that honor. And this is going to be this is going to be really tough because may, maybe many people are wondering like whether or not that this is going to be as classic as the original Peanuts movies, because this is this has been the only movie to never come out of Charles Schultz's hands. In, I think about 35 years so it's been so long since any Peanuts property has ever been published since that time ever since Charles Schultz death actually and I, I just want to congratulate the guy because he was just a very fantastic 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 creator to to these likable characters I mean he he was just uh I cannot express my love and gratitude for the guy just as just as a person in general. I mean, for people who have influenced stuff and created these great stories to tell with with these um, comic strips and the specials and the movies. So now we got this um, theatrical film finally finally come out, and I would we are all very worried every time every time any of these you know, classics from the 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, even 90s come along, and like, you know, Hollywood has to do their own rendition of it, and we're all worried, and we all know, most of the time, at least, they kind of, you know, dwindle with the property, or even kind of, you know, mess around with it too much. We've seen this happen all the time before. Do I even need to say do I even need to say how much times that Hollywood has probably screwed up our our beloved classics? I mean, god, there's so many out there. I can't even list them right now. But this but I mean <laughs> I I am generally generally surprised. I shed a tear for this movie because after all these years of Hollywood finally screwing up almost every property that they get I'm happy to say this is probably one of the this is the best well adapted cart cartoon like from from any early early production whether it be 70s 80s 90s it doesn't matter how far back this one's but this is the best adaptation that I have seen from any movie in years in years and I I, I I'm I, like I might have been the only one clapping in that theater but I was like thank God man thank God that Charles Schultz, Charles Schultz, Schultz I can't ah that name Charles Schultz um, son and grandson had full range of what they could do because by God, this movie, I don't know how it can even exist, let, let alone be in a theatrical release right now. How did this movie get by without some form of Hollywood executives not tampering with the script? I, I simply don't understand. It's speechless to me. Honestly, it's speechless. So many, so many, like, good properties we have lost to Hollywood. And, and Peanuts? And Peanuts gets a rightful treatment? 
I'm, I, I'm, I'm really speechless. I'm really speechless right now. But let me tell you about why this movie is so great. So basically, it's a very simple, simple plot to follow. I'm super surprised it even made it through an hour and a half movie. It was because, and it's just Charlie Brown is is um is kind of you know have have in love with a red haired girl that just moved in and wants to impress her in any way possible. While Snoopy writes it writes down his um his adventures on the Red Baron on a typewriter. That's pretty much the movie, and it's very, very simple, and I know a lot of people have be probably been complaining, well, it's too simple. For me, no. I mean, the simpler you can, the simpler way you can make your plot with actually having stuff going on, and actually getting, getting us entertained, and, you know, having us laughing the whole time, and having us invested in these characters, I'm like, go for it, because honestly... We 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 cannot have simple plots these days. It's just some magic that came out of you know Charles Schultz's grave somehow made it into this movie, and it is gorgeous. I have never seen a movie like I've seen th fully three D animated movies come close to that style, but I've never seen. A cross blend of 2D animation and 3D animation works so perfectly, and it's it's amazing to look at. It's amazing to admire, and there's no other movie like there like that out there. I mean, it must be like you know very, it must be a very rare film for actually to have this type of style. But it was it was it was just so amazing to me that. This this movie captured the original Peanuts, and they even right down to the fact that they even had to you know cut some cut some frames out and they make it look kind of you know stilted, and that's how the original cartoons were, and it's amazing and incredible down to the down to the animation perspective, but also they get the they get the writing down, they get the voice actors down. They sound like the original characters. I mean, whether they got real kids to do it or, or adults to act to sound like these characters. I mean, it's, it's amazing. It's incredible, and I, I can't believe how closely it resembled the act, the actual um, the joy of what Peanuts really was, and it was just like watching another one of those cartoons oh, again on the big screen and that music that music hearing that music um blast through those those, through those um theater speakers it was pure nostalgia to me especially when they and especially with that little snippet of them singing the christmas song that, that's that's one of my be the best songs to hear around christmas time you know christmas time is near yeah that song and it, it it's just I don't. It was. It was just so. It was just so. It hit me right here to where. Why isn't Hollywood doing more of this? I'll tell you why. Because they think it's much more safer to play down to their audience and not make a faithful adaptation to their movies. And clearly, if this does not make any money, I am. I'm going to be pissed. I'm going to be pissed off if this doesn't make money. And I'm pretty sure it does, it's going to make money because, you know, it's it's go, it's um, target audience is kids. And, you know, parents would take their kids to see almost anything. But I, I'm just really happy right now that in 2015 we can have such a property come to life and in a good way. Being faithful and also being, you know, also being aware of newcomers as well. It, it's a it. I I had no words to describe it honestly. In fact, I don't know. I may have to switch out Inside Out for Peanuts as probably the best animated film of the year. Uh, granted, I have not seen um, The Good Dinosaur yet, but I mean, even though it's made by Pixar, I doubt it will be Peanuts because honestly, 
I mean, I, I got Inside Out on DVD again, and watching that again, it's a great film. I'm not gonna lie, it's a great film. Probably, probably one of the top five in my, um, Pixar's best animated films. But, just, like, you know, watching it again, I, I, I can honestly say, yeah, it, it can get a little, um, talky during that, um, during the first act of the movie, it can really get very talky and it's kind of, you know, it's it's kind of hard to follow if you're not really paying attention all that well. And, you know, it does get better. It does get better to the point at the end, it's like, holy crap, that's a mas- that's a masterpiece. But, you know, um, I, I can honestly say that, you know, in, in the beginning I was kind of having, like, you know, I was kind of, I was wanting to stop let it stop talking so it can actually show some visual wonder and stuff like that. While this movie just stayed so consist- consistently with the story it was telling and the characters it was introducing and, the and you know, just the great messages that, you know, Charles Schultz wrote for this character, Charlie Brown. It's like, hey, we're all going to fail, but you just, you know, you just deal with it. You just get through life and... It's amazing that we can have a character like that, especially for kids. And this really impressed me in so many ways to where I really, I really do feel like, like we have crossed like some sort of boundary. I don't know if this is going to influence anything. Probably not. But if this does, please, please let it influence other people to be faithful. To, faithful to any adaptation that they're that they want to show because they they got this the freaking peanuts got this and I I can't express more gratitude for the filmmakers to actually put this film out and I I really did enjoy this film and I think I'm gonna rate this probably. A, I mean, I'm going to rate this a 9.5. And it's really just a testament to how great this film really is. And how truly they did not screw this property up. And I hope more films would get this kind of treatment. Hopefully they will. Hopefully we won't have more Alvin the Chipmunks or Smurfs or, or Jim and the Holograms. Maybe those will be updated and turn to classics like this. Because honestly, this is a true classic. This is a really true classic that needs to be shared more. And and I, I really have something um, kind of admirable to say. Because I was in the theater and I was watching Penis and I had this exact... I had this exact shirt on while watching the movie while eating M&M peanuts. So I I was like I was in the full spirit of pe- peanuts man and it did not it did not disappoint. This is truly one of the this is truly one of the most original ideas that I've ever seen and it's not and it's an adaptation. It's an adaptation of these really great characters with this really timeless story. And it's very rare to say that nowadays. So I hope you guys like this um, review of the movie Peanuts. And I hope you guys go and support this. Because honestly, it it's fascinating to me. It's really fascinating to me that this is coming out today. And it's it's really a testament to how much we can care about these things. Because there's a lot of hardcore fans. It's like... Don't mess up this property. Don't mess up this property, even though they're probably not listening to you right now and doing whatever the heck they want because they have the property and they can do whatever they want with it. But at least some people listened. And now, and now, you know, hopefully, hopefully other people will listen too. So I hope you guys have a good day. And as always, JC Animation Critic out. And I will see you guys later and take care.